Today you're going to see a video unlike any video you have ever seen on YouTube, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. I recently unboxed this Dylan bag from Hammett. It's called the Dylan Six Ways because it can be worn six different ways for six different looks, and if you'd like to see those six different looks, then I will link my previous video below because I went through it then. There are not a lot of videos on Hammett bags on YouTube, and I haven't seen any that are what fits, and I'm very curious about it because it's such a slim bag, and it doesn't have any depth built into the structure of the bag. So I'm curious to see once you actually put things in it, how it looks, does it get too bulky? I don't know, I'm gonna try to fill it up and see. It has a very particular flat, sleek look, empty, but of course we don't carry our handbags around empty. So let's see. Now I know that these flat pockets are touted as being great for eyeglasses. So I have a pair of sunglasses here and the material is soft enough, it's like a microfiber, micro suede, that you don't need a case for the glasses. You can just slip them into that pocket. Now there are two here, so I could keep an extra pair of readers or a different pair of glasses for a different look or something altogether different. I'm wondering, maybe do I want to put a key clay in there? Key and clay are the same word, so I just said the same word twice in two different languages, that's all right. Will the clay fit in this pocket? Very easily it will. Zip that up. So now I have a couple of things in each of those pockets. There's a big center pocket if you have these two flaps folded so that one is on each side. I have not cut the tag off yet. So I'll take my phone and put it in there because that's a great place to keep your phone very handy. You don't have to deal with zippers and it'll still be secure. Now let's start filling this zippered pocket and the other zippered pocket just like it on the back wall, which comprise those two pouches there. Now one thing I'm gonna need if I go out is my keys, and this is how I keep them, and I don't want them to scratch the inside of that bag because it seems like it might be a little delicate. So I tend to keep my keys in a mini pochette. Having a little bit of trouble because I have an organizer in there, I should probably just take that out. There's the organizer. So keys in the mini pochette, they fit much easier without that organizer. And the pochette should fit very easily in one of these zippered pockets. There it is. There are several things in my toiletry 15 that I carry around with me. There's a hand sanitizer, a chapstick, and a little eyeglasses cleaning kit. And then in my pochette accessoire, I have tissues. I have a clip-a bag hanger, a notebook, another clay that has spare keys in it, some mints, pills for different occasions, card holder with my medical cards, and a little Swiss army knife. Now I know there are pockets in this bag, so the pockets happen to be on the side where I put my mini pochette. There are two pockets there. So I'm gonna slip some of these smaller things into those pockets. There we are. And I'll slip the rest of the items into the other big zippered pocket. And there's most of that stuff in there. Now that is a card pocket that's built in. I don't have anything there. I also don't have my wallet in here yet, so I could definitely slip a couple of cards in. I could put my ID and my debit card. I'll use a couple of gift cards to represent those. Those two cards fit very easily right there. You could easily fit more cards. I'll zip that up. I'm gonna take out the clay that I put in this pocket earlier and replace it with a different clay that actually has something in it. And I could almost fit two clays side by side. They don't fit side by side, they overlap a little bit, but you can still get that zipped closed. So I'm gonna do that. Make sure all the zippers are zipped and then show you how this looks pretty bulky. So you remember how flat it was before? Here it is now with things in it from the front, from the side. It's quite bulky and that sticks out a bit, which is exactly what I expected to happen. Here is the back, the other side, bulky bulky, and the front again. Here's the base. It's pretty heavy with all my stuff in it, that's to be expected. 
the bag has some weight to it already. The bag itself isn't overly heavy, but it is all leather, so you'd expect it to have some weight. Now, if I was carrying this as a clutch, I could still get away with that, but it does also have the shoulder strap. So let me go put that on and show you what it would look like on me with the bulk. All right, here it is hanging from the strap. Let me show you one more thing too, because you can move this bag around. You could take one of these flaps and just flip it to the other side and then it's a little more evenly distributed, the bulk of it. But I really like the look of the flaps on both sides. So I wanna see what that looks like on me. There it is on me. It, I don't think it sticks out too far. I mean, it's a little annoying that that corner is out so far. I have my glasses in there. I could scoot those over and then that flap hangs down a little better. So that's a good solution there. But I think it works pretty well. If I did one flap on each side, that's how it would look. I like that look too. And that keeps one of the flaps a little flatter so it doesn't stick out from your body quite as much. It's rather nice, I think. It's certainly a beautiful bag and luxurious and practical. Well, now we have an idea of what can fit in this bag. It can hold quite a bit and how it looks with some bulk to it instead of just being empty and flat. You're welcome, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that was informative for you. And I'll see you back here next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.